So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we will cover this amazing lab so first of all you have to click on start lab and after that if you want to know how to enable this check my previous you can check the description of this video now open the cloud console in incognito window and if it asks for username and password check the lab for it now here click on i agree and i agree and continue and just activate the cloud shell so just activate the cloud shell here basically you have to click on continue and just authorize yourself now here basically it's starting now you have to come back to the i mean the lab instruction i've increased the font based on the request now here you have to just set the project id and hit enter now again set the default region now the next step is that we have to enable the artifact registry apis here basically we have to now create two files so here how you can create you can use the nano method or you can just directly paste the command let me show you the nano method because it is new to you so just copy the file name type nano and space and then hit enter now paste the entire contents like this Control x y and then hit enter now let's create this file so here basically you don't have to just copy the name and paste here you can just directly paste this command and just paste like this okay let me show you just copy from here and paste it and hit enter now again docker file now come back to the lab instructions and just run this repository command basically here we are creating a repository named this so basically it names as nijinx static site so this is the site it is creating now here we have created another repository now we have to run the build command so just run the build command and it will take some time so finally now the build is ready now we have to run the tag command and after that we have to just push it so it will take some time this is done what we need to do we need to come back to the lab instructions and initiate another command which command we have to initiate i will show you in this video no need to worry about it we have to just deploy it and then we will test the application first of all deploy it now once it is deployed we will test the app then only we will get the score It may take 5 to 10 minutes so you need to wait for it till it gets completed and if you are new to this channel like the video and subscribe the channel now the main thing is that about this lab here we have got one single checkpoint unlike other labs where we have checkpoints for each and every task here we have to just test it one by one now if you try to check the score you need to enable this check my progress so how you can do you can just check the video description how to enable check my progress now we are getting not score what is the reason we have to test the application so just click on the service url and you'll see this output now when you'll try to check the score you'll get the score and that's the way we have to complete this lab do like the video and subscribe the channel thank you have a great day